Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome. Um, today I'd like to speak, speak briefly about God's unconditional love. <laughs> it is a good topic. Um, we hear the term unconditional love used regularly, but what does it really mean? The Oxford Dictionary defines it as not subject to any conditions. How then does this translate to our worldly love? We often describe our love of someone by the way they make us feel, because we are usually thinking about all the benefits we receive. The world's form of love is always self-focused and self-centered. We are friendly towards those who give us what we want or meet our needs, whether it be money, possessions, power, fame, validation or love, the list goes on and on. The world always values people and things based on their usability or what they receive. I am nice or loving while I'm getting what I want. But once this changes or disappears, then the reason for this goes as well. <coughs> Worldly love causes people to control and manipulate others to meet their selfish needs or desires. It is envious of what others have, is rooted in pride, and causes division and separation because it is conditional in nature. This is the world's form of love, conditional love driven by sin. I googled how many times love is mentioned in the New King James version of the Bible and I got the following stats. Love is mentioned 310 times. There's 131 times in the Old Testament and 179 times in the New Testament. So it's important. God's expression of unconditional love is found throughout the Bible and it's a central theme. So what then is unconditional love? The biblical meaning of unconditional love tells us that to love someone despite personal gain, without motivation, and to keep loving them no matter whether they do or don't. With our level of understanding, we can try to grasp it but we aren't capable or have the capacity to in our human bodies, and we never really will. However, in our glorified bodies, we will be able to receive and give it. God's love for us, or and I hope I pronounce this right, agape love? Agape. 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 I practiced that. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. I did practice that. Um, is selfless and unconditional. When we seek to love unconditionally, we give of ourselves. 1 John 4, verse 16, describes God's nature and states that he is love. And we have known and believed the, God, uh, the love that God has for us. God is love, and he who abides in love abides in God, and God in him. The Bible teaches us about God's unconditional love for us, the love we ought to have for each other, and our love for God. It points to unconditional love as the nature of God and instructs us how to identify and exemplify unconditional love. Jesus' sacrifice on the cross and the willingness of God to give his son is the perfect example of God's unconditional love. We did nothing to deserve it, and he seeks of us only a recognition of who he is. Let's take our emblems up. As we take these symbols of sacrifice, let's believe that no matter how much we have strayed, who we have wronged, or how long we turned from God, we can be sure that God, in all his forms, looks on us in love. Thanks to the covering through Jesus' sacrifice, when God looks at us, he doesn't see someone condemned. He sees righteousness through Christ. Amen.
just one final thing that I just wanted to share. Um, and Nicole actually discovered this last night just uh, as we were surfing the net because we're really modern and techno savvy. <laughs> and, she, and she shared with me. Um, but it's very, very profound. It's from uh, 1 John 4, verse 8. Um, God is love. That means entertaining definitions of love that are contrary to what God has revealed is idolatry. Yeah, it's like, wow. Yeah, it's like, yeah, that's all. That's all I've got. Thank you.